Hello and welcome to this Eventide synth demo with the brand new micro pitch delay. Now today I'm going to show you why this is a perfect hardware solution for stereo widening of your mono synths. Having a mono output is pretty common across the board between budget synths and some above the $3,000 mark. So this is also just a great companion to your synth rig, so as a bonus we're going to jump into some ambient delays. Now we're going to set up our basic stereo widening setting first, and then we're going to use an expression pedal to help push us into ambient territory. Let's dive into it. So today I'm using this Moog Grandmother synth, which I've just got a basic patch running, um, bringing the LFO up to audio rate and then using it as a third oscillator in the mixer. So this does exactly what I want it to. It's got that classic evocative Moog sound, and today we're going to make it stereo. On micro pitch, I've got everything set neutral. That's either zero or noon where applicable. Notice I've got pitch mix set to noon. That's going to give us an equal blend of the pitch shifters in the left, left and right. And mix, I'm going to start with about 70%. And without doing anything else, let's just hear what that sounds like. So you can stop there. This is now effectively a stereo signal, and it still sounds like the Moog that you know and love. But of course, there's much more that we can use to take advantage of the micro pitch delay here, so let's take it a little bit further. I'm going to start by bringing up the pitch A and B knobs. And um, I'm going to introduce some modulation to this as well to give a nice ebb and flow as the pitch shifters come in and out of tune with the original signal. So I'm going to jump into second, um, second layer control. And I can select my mod source here from either envelope, inverse envelope, or sine wave LFO. I'm going to select the sine wave. And then jumping back up to first level control, um, I can turn my depth all the way up. And I'm going to use a slow rate here. And just to really accentuate this, I'm going to bring pitch A and B up even more. Let's see what that sounds like. And uh, so now we've got our basic stereo widening setting. I'm going to um, start programming the expression pedal so that we can jump into the ambient settings. But first, I want to have a little bit of coherency between this and, and the uh, ambient delay. So I'm going to add a little bit of delay, jumping into second level control here, and just a bit of a slap back, making sure, um, first of all, that we are in milliseconds, not tap tempo. So make sure that you uh, press the tap button until the LED stays lit to be in milliseconds. And we're just going to add a little bit of feedback. So this is introducing some more space into this. Before I program the expression pedal, I want to make sure that there aren't any current mappings. And the way that I can do that is by clearing mappings um, by holding down the active foot switch and button until the LED ladder flashes twice. Let's re-engage. And now to program, I'm just going to move the expression pedal into toe position, which is reflected on the ladder here. So this is, as it is right now, our current heel setting. And now that we're in toe position, I just need to adjust the knobs um, on micro pitch to set the toe position. So first of all, I'm going to increase our delays, our delay time, and our feedback. OK, I'm going to jump up to first level control. And I'm going to get rid of the modulation here, so turning depth all the way down. And then I'm going to rein in pitch A, turn that down. But I'm going to keep pitch B at around 11 o'clock, because I like the idea that our um, decay is going to have a pitch dive in it. And pitch B um, pitch shifts down up to minus 50 cents. So every time that the delay feeds back into itself, it's going to apply the pitch shifting. So it will go down and down and down, and we'll get a nice pitch dive in the decay of our delay. So let's hear what that sounds like. Let's increase feedback just to make that a little more obvious. Yeah. 
So now that we've set the expression pedal, I'm gonna give this a bit of play and morph between the heel and toe settings. And let's see what that sounds like. There you have it, so micro pitch really helps open up the synth space, whether it's for stereo widening or ambience, and it gives you a lot of playability along with it. That's gonna do it for this demo, see you in the next one.